What's happening to all the honeybees? A surprising drop in the world's honeybee population is raising fears about a real threat to our nation's food supply. Jane Wells has more on what all the buzz is about. These are California almonds. This is a multi-billion dollar industry, more dependent on the nation's honeybees than any other business. 60% of all U.S. commercial bee colonies came here this year to pollinate the crop, and it was a challenge. This is probably one of the most challenging years for, for the beekeepers to, to provide the supply of bees that we need. The commercial beekeepers that do commercial pollination were tapped out. I mean, they, were, they just had no more bees. Gordon Wardell is the bee biologist for Paramount Farming Company, the largest grower of California almonds. See those little mites crawling around on there? Yeah. Those are varroa mites. So those are the parasites that are, that are killing our bees today. Bees pollinate about a third of the fruits and vegetables we eat, 20 to $30 billion worth of food. But last year, nearly a third of the bees died off, much higher than normal, as what's being called colony collapse disorder remains a mystery. That individual right there is a drone. Bee expert Eric Musson at UC Davis says beekeepers blame the deaths on many things, parasites, pesticides, the Midwest drought, but most say bees are just plain starving to death. Urbanization and large farms have replaced a lot of traditional bee food. We've converted much of the lands that used to have some nice food available for bees into places where bees can't find food anymore. So they're just plain short on food. Queen bees are not living as long as they used to. Adult bees are just more challenged than they ever have been before. Uh, it's, it's not one thing. What to do about it? Well, beekeepers and farmers are starting to work together to plant flowers and other bee food in open spaces. In Europe, they may ban pesticides considered harmful to bees. Bottom line, colonies will rebuild, food will get pollinated. It's just going to take longer, be more difficult, and cost more. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jane Wells in California's Central Valley.